Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Pérez Nieto and today we will make an ink drawing of a ballerina with an owl. I want to thank our sponsor for this video, Appeals. At the end of the drawing we will do something fun with them, so stick around. We begin with the shape of the hair and the ear as a point of reference. Then the right arm up, the jaw, and let's draw some features very simplified. Just a note for the eyebrow, the eye, nose, and mouth. Her hair can be up here, like a ballerina. And now her other arm, with grace, like so. <laughs> and we sketch her body loosely, pretty freely. And now we can begin shading. Since we are drawing with ink, we do it with hatching and cross hatching. I'm drawing with a fountain pen and burgundy color ink. The list of materials that I am using is in the description below the video. We create the volume by doing the shading. And once we have the main shapes, we can also fine-tune the detail. I love drawing with ink. And don't forget that we have an ongoing Inktober challenge and contest hosted by Appeals, where you can win money and prizes. Check it out with the link below. I did the first pass lightly and now I can come back and darken some of the shades creating some accents and more volume. And now let's draw a wise owl flying by, passing under her arm. He's going to be a big, huge owl, of course with big round eyes. And the beak over here. Let's draw the feathers on the edge of the face, and then the body and the leg. Like so. Very good. He pulled the wings down because he doesn't have a lot of space to pass through. Now let's give them some texture and shade them. It is such a pleasure drawing with a fountain pen. I love it so much. Let's darken the parts that are in shade. And as I told you at the beginning, let's do something fun with a peel. I want to take this piece of art and create a reusable sticker with it. We go to the Appeals website and click on the Design on the Artboard tab. Then we scroll down to find the device we want it for or the size of the sticker, for example an iPad. And let's click here on Upload an image, which I select from my computer, and boom! Nice! The format looks perfect. I'm not going to change anything as far as that. But I want to add a nice quote. We click here and pick this one that says I would rather die of passion than of boredom. Vincent van Gogh. Let's make it a little bit smaller so that it can fit down here. Good, and let's see if we can change the color to make it more similar to the one of the drawing. So a red, which is uh, slightly toward blue, like that, and we go to the next screen. Alright, but I'll make it just a little bit bigger. So I'll go back and select it, enlarge it a little bit, and now let's go forward. Beautiful, let's add it to the card. Oh wow, during the month of October they have a 20% off for Halloween. Use the link below if you want to support this channel, which I would very much appreciate. Now you know how to create a sticker or skin with your art. But if you want to get this one with mine, simply go to Shop by Image and then click down here under Artists and Creators and choose Leonardo Perez Nieto. <laughs> And here you can see all my images available. Let's select the new one. And we can create a skin to stick it, remove it, and reuse it. So nice. I look forward to having it. 
If you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code, dancing with an owl. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to find our tips if you haven't done so already, and don't forget to visit Appeals with the link below to check out the stickers and to participate in the Inktober Drawing Contest. And I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.